This video shows the standard time calculation method for any operation with an example. After watching this video, you will be able to explain the procedure involved in standard time calculation, list the parameters required for standard time calculation and define observed time, basic time and standard time. As you have studied, the purpose of time study is to increase the efficiency or productivity of the worker. In time study, time required to complete the task is measured so that standards can be arrived for a worker or a machine. This schematic diagram shows how the standard time for a simple manual job is made up of. Here you can see the observed time, basic time and standard time. From the observed time, how to calculate the standard time is explained here. Observe time using stopwatch, the time taken to complete the job is measured. The actual time measured is known as observed time. The basic time represents the time taken by the operator to perform an element if the operator were working at the standard rate. If the operator was working slower than the standard, basic time is less than the observed time. If the operator was working faster than the standard, basic time is greater than the observed time. Hence, the rating factor is involved in the calculation of basic time. So, basic time is obtained by multiplying observed time with the rating factor. Many jobs require spending of human effort and some allowance must therefore be made for recovery from fatigue and for relaxation as they work continuously together for 8 to 10 hours. Allowance must be made to allow your worker to attend to his personal needs also. Relaxation allowance are intended to assist recovery from the fatigue. They are the only essential part of the time added to the basic time. Other elements are just contingency policy and special elements are applied under certain conditions only. Also, it depends upon the manufacturing firms. Hence, standard time is obtained by adding allowances to the basic time. These allowances are percentages of basic time. Personal, ta personal time, fatigue allowance and delay allowance are some of the allowances added. So the standard time is the total time in which a job should be completed at standard performance. Standard time is equal to basic time plus allowances. Here is an example showing direct time study on a sewing machine where sleeve attachment operation was done. The regular cycle consists of three elements A, B, C An element D is an irregular element performed only uh, every five cycles. Observed time is mentioned in minutes and performance rating is also given. Now we have to calculate basic time and standard time for the cycle using elements factor of 15 percentage. Since the basic time is observed time into rating, you can simply calculate the basic time as follows. 0 0.56 is the observed time of the first element multiplied by corresponding rating plus Second of element observed time multiplied by its rating plus third of uh, observed time multiplied by rating. Finally, the irregular element multiplied by rating gets divided by 5 because it repeats only for every 5 cycles. So, the total basic time is sum of all the basic time. Standard time is nothing but basic time added with allowances. This allowances are percentages of basic time. 
so 1.53 into 15 by 100 is calculated and then it is added with the basic time 1.53 to get the standard time as 1.76 minute. Here is also another example showing the rating and observed timing. The third column shows the basic time multiplied, uh, multiplied by rating with observed time. This example sh also shows the standard time calculation but with the uh, frequency. If there are irregular element repeats only after a few cycles, basic time should be divided by corresponding frequencies. So here the basic time is multiplied by frequency then relaxation allowances are added to get the standard time. There are seven different elements are there. For all the seven elements standard time is calculated. Finally to calculate total standard cycle time all the standard time of elements are added. Hope you have understood the standard time calculation method. You can try to solve these questions. Thank you.